Good afternoon. Uh, it's my pleasure to present a webinar on interventions to prevent occupational low back pain. And I would like to start by introducing the team and myself. My name is Sebastian Straube, and I'm the senior author of the paper about which we are going to talk and the research project on which this is based. I'm privileged to be joined by Dr. Daniel Sova and uh, 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 Mr. Robert Boyko, as well as uh, David Ampel and uh, uh, Dr. Michael Sakari, who uh, will be uh, one of the presenters this afternoon. And uh, you are asked to uh, write your questions and ask us uh, about anything uh, that uh, you would like to know further information about. Uh, following the three presentations, first by uh, Dr. Sova, then uh, secondly, by Dr. Zakari, and then thirdly, by Dr. Antle, we will respond to the questions which you can uh, uh, send us. And uh, you are asked to uh, write your questions and ask us uh, about anything uh, that uh, you would like to know further information about. Uh, following the three presentations, first by uh, Dr. Sova, then uh, secondly by Dr. Zakari, and then thirdly by Dr. Antle. We will respond to the questions which you can uh, uh, send us. So hello, I'd like to present some practical applications for interventions to prevent occupational low back pain based on uh, the overview we uh, carried out. So uh, a little bit of an overview and background. So based on the current evidence, uh, exercise alone or in combination with education has been proven to be effective for prevention of uh, low back pain. So exercise interventions were shown to be effective in reduction of sick leave, as well as reduction of incidence of low back pain and low back pain recurrence, and eventually reduction in lost time and disability associated with back pain. So the question here is why exercise is effective in preventing low back pain. First, it strengthens the back and increases trunk flexibility. It increases blood supply to the spine muscles, joint and intervertebral discs. It also improves mood and alters the perception of pain identifiable risk factors for low back pain, such as low levels of physical fitness, as well as reduced back muscle endurance. Finally, stretch and flex workplace exercise program has been proven to improve safety culture, as well as communication, which may lower the risk of back injury. So as we mentioned, exercise can be alone or in, uh, in combination with education. So exercise regimens as being a loan or a sole intervention includes a wide variety of regimen that can be implemented within the setting of the workplace. So this involves, for example, muscle strengthening, as well as muscle endurance, which is in involving the increasing resilience of abdominal as well as back extensor muscles. It also includes stability, flexibility exercises and exercises that can be performed without the use of equipment, as well as stretching exercises and cardiovascular as well as aerobic exercises. In terms of duration and frequency of exercise, the duration of and frequency of exercise programs had shown a considerable variation from five to 60 minutes per session with a follow-up period of three to 18 months. Exercise programs conducted for shorter duration, which involved five to 10 minutes period, were found to be beneficial. So the durations of exercise don't have to be too long in order to be effective. 
The second point is exercise in combination with education, that's to say the multidimensional approach have been also proven to be effective in the prevention of low back pain compared to education as a sole intervention. In terms of duration of exercise combined with education, so five to 17 minutes daily of exercise with six minutes education of training per working day have been proven to be effective. So again, it doesn't have to be too long. So based on the current evidence, consideration should be given to provision of opportunities for appropriate exercise program at the workplace, as well as provision of the relevant education material that would contribute to more knowledgeable information to prevent uh, low back pain.